Hi everyone, good morning. It's Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue. Oh, my dogs are particularly barky this morning. Um, I think maybe my contractor is on his way in the door. And uh, so, sorry about the, the commotion. But this morning, we are going to be... Um, making labels for spice jars. Um, I wanted to show you this. We're going to be doing that with the Cricut uh, Joy. And one of the great products um, that is a companion product for the Joy is this stuff called Smart Label. It's a writable vinyl, so you can write on it, and um, it is smudge-proof. It's not waterproof, and I want to make sure that you guys know that it's not waterproof. It's not something that can go, you know, in the dishwasher, although the vinyl itself could go in the dishwasher, but the actual pen itself is not waterproof or scrub-proof, but it is smudge-proof, um, and I found this wonderful project in Cricut Design Space. Now this is something um, you could definitely make with uh, with your other machine, but this product, uh, the Smart Label, is definitely a companion product to the Cricut Joy. I'm not sure if they'll have it available going forward for the other machine. Um, Sorry. Yeah, the dogs are pretty excited. I, I definitely think that the contractor, um, who's also my good friend and also likes to take them out for walks. And so now they're all super excited and squeaking a ball and everything else. Um, hey, hey, could you take them out? Because they're really loud and I'm and I'm doing a run. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> so sorry. Um, you want to join just for these? Yeah, these are good morning. Good morning, Marianne. Good morning, Marikela. Um, this is really, I, I cannot believe I haven't covered this before. We've been doing these videos with the Cricket Joy for almost two weeks now and I haven't gone over this and I think this is probably one of the funnest things to do with the joy and um, again you could make these with your uh, with your regular machine but I'm not sure if this writable vinyl would be available in for the other machines and it is a smart product remember with the smart product we put them uh, we put it directly into the machine without it needing a mat so um so this might be one project that is unique to um to the cricket joy and i can see a lot of possibilities with this um with labeling i remember when i was first introduced to it a couple of weeks back and i was thinking about my son and his massive lego um lego collection <laughs> and what happened with those is that you know we'd put them all together and eventually they'd break and of course i didn't keep the the actual original boxes right or, or the bags they came in um so i would just kind of collect all of the bricks and then i would um then i would go ahead and uh try to organize them and so then you'd have like two by one bricks and two by two bricks oh if anybody knows lego they know how much of a crazy um endeavor that is so um, i was thinking you know i might bring these to uh, my lego room I, I might bring my joy to my lego room and try to organize that that massive collection of lego bricks uh for for my son um, but today we're going to be doing something that's a little more close to home for everyone, and that is spice jar labels. Um, this is done with the smart label, um, <clears throat> the smart label writable vinyl, and and a pen. Um, and the pens are they have to be the smaller pens, not the the gel pens, for it to be smudge proof. 
Um, and you can find, and I will, I will post the link to this design space file uh, in the description of this video when we're done, okay? So if you want to get it and look at it, you can do that. It's free if you are a Design Access customer as well. Um, all right, so there's really not much to talk about here. It's basically, it's a cut file with some writing. So I want to hit make it. And here on this case, I'm going to, um, yeah, classroom, Katie. Do you know what I'm talking about with the Legos, Katie? <laughs> because if you're in a classroom, you probably have Legos and pick crayons and oh my gosh. All right. So um, this smart is a smart material. So we're going to choose without mat. All right. Now, one thing I wanted to point out to you is that um, you could cut this out the way that it's set up to be cut out, but it, you'd be wasting a lot of material here, and I'm so not about waste. So I wanted to see if there was a way that I could make it um, a double uh, double columns, and I did. I was able to do that, and I just click on the individual image. See here, I don't know if you can see that, but like, okay, okay, take the fennel and put it up here, and the sage and put it up here. But you have to be very careful that they're not touching either. So, um, let me just show you how I kind of maneuvered it around so you'd see. So I was able to make two, now see there, the cinnamon and the parsley, they're going to, they would be touching and so that would not work out um, and that's why it shows up in the yellow. So with a little bit of finagling, I could save a couple of inches of this uh, stuff, this smart label. Um, so let me do that because I'm all about saving saving product let's see let's move this down here and move this up here and there we go i don't know how much i saved a couple inches maybe but it just feels better to me <laughs> it feels better to me um Oh my gosh, Marianne. Oh, stepping on a Lego is like the worst form of torture in the world. Am I right? Oh, terrible at night when you <laughs> when you're walking in the living room. Um, oh boy. I do not I do not um look forward to that. Thankfully he's older now and I can tell him you got to put those Legos away. Um okay. So here we go. Here are our labels. Um, and it, I set it up so that it would be in a smaller piece of vinyl so I can, you know, conserve that vinyl. Um, and then I'm just going to hit continue. And the first part of the project is the writing part. Okay. Um, so I'm going to choose, here's some materials and you notice that just the smart materials are showing. And I show you that, um, because I chose, without a mat. If I had gone back and changed it to with a mat, I'd have more products showing, more materials showing, okay? But in this case, we are using the Smart Label, um, and so we're going to choose the Smart Label Writable Vinyl right there. And it's telling me right here, it's telling me don't use gel or metallic pens in there because it won't be... Um, it won't be smudge proof, okay? And then, so uh, the load, I'm going to load a pan into, it says black pen, but I'm going to show you that you can use different color pens as long as they're the smaller ones. And then I'm going to load it into material. And then afterwards, I'm going to load the fine point blade back into the machine. So let me show you that process. Okay, so there's our uh, <clears throat> joy and it's blinking to say, I'm ready now. I'm ready to get my, um, <clears throat> to, to do my job. I'm ready. So <clears throat> this is the smart label and I'm just going to guide it underneath these rollers. And what you'll notice is that the machine kind of, it goes through this process where it kind of surveys the, um, 
the project and see if I have enough material in there um, because it doesn't want to be doing something and then halfway through it runs out of material. Isn't that smart? I guess that's why it's called a smart label. Anyway, um, so for the pins, I'm going to use this 0 0.4 pen. Um, I did these in brown. I don't know if you can see that. They're in brown. So I guess today, I don't know, maybe we can try them in the gray or the black. I don't, let's try them in the gray. I think that would be kind of fun. Just so you can see that um, you don't always have to use the black one, but you do need to use the small one. So, okay, so I'm going to take out the blade and the blade housing. Here it is. It's smaller than the one that's in our regular machines, our other machines, and the blade itself is also smaller. Um, and that, uh, we got a great uh, post last night from this Cricut CEO to explain um, why they had to do that. And so if uh, I'm going to repost that on my page later today so you can read it. It's very technical, but also very enlightening, I think. So anyway, so let's go ahead and put the pen in. We just drop it in. We don't push it down. We don't have to wait for a click or anything. We just close the clamp and let's get it started. Um, and we can talk more as, as it as it goes. So we got it started. Remember we're using the app itself to get it started and to to make it work. There are no buttons on this machine. Um, so you do everything <clears throat> through the app. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, you do everything through the app. Um, <laughs> Everyone everyone has felt the pain of stepping on a Lego block. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Um, and the great thing about this smart label stuff, it's 48 inches, so you can make... Sorry. You can make an awful lot of labels um, with this. Now, these are not the same labels as the, um, as the ones we did, the pantry labels, which we also cut with smart vinyl, but it was the black vinyl. Um, hold on. I have to go get, I have to go get the dog. Oh, nope. He's going to get him. He's going to get him. Okay. So um, these are, it's not the same material, but um, it's similar. It's still vinyl. Um, also, I should point out that the there's paper, like a craft paper, that um, that will also do the label writing. That craft paper needs to go on a mat, uh, and I, um, I can show you those in in another video. But uh, it's the same theory, but those need to go on a mat they don't go in the machine without a mat like this vinyl does it's a paper it's like an adhesive paper but it's craft so it's like brown craft paper let's see um what else what else what else uh, oh, uh, you know, we have done so many projects with this Cricut Joy. I'm really enjoying um, this, pro this, this machine. Um, it's really kind of freed me from my craft room, but I am going to go back to my craft room too. And I think tomorrow what we'll do is we'll bring it back to... Um, We'll bring it back to the craft room and see how we switch from one machine to the other. I think that would be kind of a fun experiment. Um, let's see. Is there anything I should ask you all? Is there anything that you would like to see that you haven't seen demonstrated that you'd like to see done with the Cricut Joy? We've done paper. We've done vinyl. We've done iron-on. We've done infusible ink. We've done the transfer sheets for infusible ink and the pens. Um, and we've done some pen and paperwork and now we're doing the labels and I don't want to say we've exhausted everything but I wanted to make sure you guys understood that um, this machine is not at all very limiting. Um, I think it's, it's got a lot of wonderful potential and um, I am eager for when it releases so I can see what you all are going to do with it. Um, but if there's anything in particular you want me to show you before the launch, please make sure you comment and um, let me know, um, let me know what, what you'd like to see. Um, we did, oh, we did paper flowers. I want to show you this paper flower I did. Um, 
this is from Design Space. You might all have seen it. And uh, this would not have cut uh, on, well, the way that it's set up, it would not cut on the joy because it's originally like a really huge, huge thing. Um, and so I made it smaller to work with it. And I, I think maybe I might be able to cut this on the joy because even though it has a little bit of scoring, if I remove the scoring, um, I can probably get away with cutting it on the joy. So things like 3D projects can still be achieved on there. And we've also done, you know, um, the rolled flowers as well. Um, and just so many fun things. So many fun things to do um, with this machine that I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on it um, and and play with it and show me what it is that you're going to do with it. Because we're all different, right? I mean, we all like to craft differently and some of us prefer different materials and, and what have you. But we all are creative people and want to do um, creative things with our machine. So I love to see what you guys have accomplished. So the Cricut Joy um, is going to be, it's only a few more days and you know, we have a leap year this year. Oh, why, why do we have a leap? You know, I love, usually love leap year because it gives you an extra day to do whatever it is you like. And it's sort of like a bonus day. But in this case, this year, um, it's hard because it is, it is, um, the day that they launch the day after is the day that they launch this cricket joy and it will be launched on the cricket.com website as well as other websites um i think beginning at midnight on on the first so that you know so just right after leap leap day <laughs> so i'm wondering um how if you guys are going to buy these how are you going to purchase them? Are you going to wait and buy them in the store? Or are you going to go on cricket.com or is there another website that you're going to order them, order it from and be interested in hearing what your plans, what your plans are. Um, and, uh, you know, I was very, I was very fortunate to, to get one of these ahead of time, but just sort of interested in seeing, it sounds to me like people are very interested in this machine. And again, this is not supposed to, um, replace our existing machines. It's more of a companion product if you already own a machine. And you know, it's not for everyone, I'm sure. Um, there are some people that have dedicated craft spaces and they don't want to craft outside of that space. And that's great, you know, and, and they might, you know, use their maker for things like, um, they might use their maker for things like uh, cutting really thick materials like leather or maybe they use the adaptable tool system and and cut fabric um, or they have an Explore Air 2 and they just, you know, they like it because it, those machines are powerhouses and they really are just workhorses. They do so much. But I think what's so great about this machine is the portability. It's three and a half pounds. It's about eight by five inches. It's very sleek. Um, there are no buttons and everything is controlled through the app, which is really nice. Um, it's sort of been living here in my kitchen for the last almost two weeks. And, um, I'm fine with that because I get to be with, you know, my family and, and let the dogs in and let the dogs out and let the dogs in and let the dogs out, you know? Um, and so it, it allows me to be more attentive to my family. Um, but also, you know, there are a lot of distractions, um, through the day and I can stop and start what I'm doing. Like I, I may have mentioned that I really love to cook and to bake. And so over the weekend, I was able to do some cooking and start a project here and then, you know, attend to the to the kitchen or to the stove and then come back like I made this nice chicken and rice dish uh, on Sunday and um, it was great because I could you know get to sauteing the the vegetables and then 
you know, and then put the chicken in and then wait and I have to put the rice in. And so there was a lot of getting up and going to the stove and then waiting, you know, a few minutes. And I was able to continue to craft while I was while I was doing that. And that was like a lot of fun for me. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird, but I don't know. It's just, I just found it like really fun. I would never have done, been able to do that in my craft space. Good morning, Felicia. Oh, my constant companion, Felicia. How are you today? Um, and Marianne says she's not sure if she's going to buy um, buy the joy. And that's fine too. Again, you know, this is, um, it's it's not a replacement to our other machines. So if you are already a cricketeer, um, then, you know, my, you might decide, hey, you know, I might wait, or I, I, you know, I don't know if I, if this, I really am going to use this. Yesterday, someone said, <laughs> this was really funny. Um, so yesterday, someone said, you know, I have an Air 2, I love it, and I went to, like, my niece's birthday party, and of course, while I'm there, everybody decided that they wanted special shirts, so I had to go and get my machine and lug it down, and, and it was just kind of like, because the machines can be, they're, the the Air and the Maker, they're kind of like, um, for me, I equate it with like trying to carry a corgi because that's what that's what I have. I have corgi dogs, and they have they're long, um, they're long, and they sort of have a different center of gravity. And it's the same with a machine trying to move a machine. Um, it's sort of difficult to to just can't just kind of pick it up like you can with the joy, and so um, you know it, it's a little awkward. And she was saying, you know, just wish I had the joy to do that. And I think everyone has a lot of really different circumstances that might, um, might precipitate. I'm going to put in the, the blade now. It's done. So it's done writing our labels and now, um, the blade is going to cut them. Um, so yeah, you know, everybody has different circumstances. Some people have some issues where they're not as mobile or they're bed bound. Um, other people like they work in a classroom or they work in a place where they can't bring their machine or something like that. And so th there are different reasons. There are different crafters. And so there are, di you know, a lot of different, uh, situations. So, um, you know, that's why we have different machines, I guess, you know, and, and it's just really kind of, um, fun to think about. Not everybody is the same kind of crafter, right? Not everybody is that same way. And I just think that this machine was designed for, you know, with a different kind of crafter in mind. Um, and I'm, I'm really glad that they developed it, to be honest. It's really changed my perspective of crafting and where I craft and all of that. So I'm appreciative of that. Okay, so our, our labels are almost done cutting. Um, and again, we just control this all by the app. And I'm using my iPad, but I want to point out that you don't have to use your iPad exclusively. You can use your phone, you can use your desktop, you can even use your um, laptop. Um, and so it, it doesn't matter as long as it has a Bluetooth connection. And now it's done. We're going to unload it. And I'm going to show you what we just made. Here it is. And we did it in the gray this time. This one here is, is the brown. Right? And um, I actually removed the outside part of that one just to kind of show you how the labels come out. And let's see. So I still have all of this length, and I've I've done. Look, that I have all this length in my um, in my roll that I'm going to put back in the box. But here are our labels for spices, and they're easy to um, peel off. Let me peel. Here we go. So, and there, there's the label. I'll show you. 
Here's a, a spice jar. I actually have one here. I don't want to get too confused. This one says rosemary, but just so maybe you might want to put it halfway up there. Is that straight? And that's it. Can you imagine getting all organized, <laughs> um, organizing your kitchen and organizing every room? And you, you can do that whole Marie Kondo or whatever, um, joy, whatever that is, um, the joy of cleaning up or something like that. You could totally Marie Kondo your, uh, your home with this great machine and actually bring it into different areas, I suppose. And maybe if you're one of those professional organizers, not me, um, but one of those professional organizers, you could, you could bring it into your work and go to people's houses and help them organize. I don't know. That sounds like a fun plan. But, um, so that is label making with the cricket joy. Is this something that you might want to try if you are going to buy a joy? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Um, and as always, I'm going to post this. I'll repost it in the groups and also on YouTube. So you're welcome to comment on my videos even after the live. And uh, I do always come back and um, and respond to the uh, to the comments. So thank you so much for coming and joining me today here on Miss Rita to the Rescue. We're going to see you tomorrow. I think I'm going to bring my joy to a different room, maybe back to my craft room and um, and see how it works in my craft room. Uh, sort of turn the tables a little bit. Uh, I think that would be fun. But thank you so much for coming today. I appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you again really soon.